Hey guys, I thought I would just give you a little chicken update today. Hey there, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. If you guys are new here, my name is Emily. Welcome to my motherhood channel where I take care of all things mom. I have a very, very teeny tiny homestead on my Southern California property and we have some chickens. Now, a while ago, I kind of shared that one of our chickens that we were kind of almost fully promised was gonna be female turned out to be a rooster. And we were like certain that it was even though its counterpart hadn't laid an egg yet. And actually, I don't think she has yet, unless I'm surprised today, that would be awesome. But, you know, this bird definitely was bigger than like the sibling counterpart. Uh, it started crowing, it had bigger feathers, more plumage or whatever. And, you know, so sadly, we just named it Useless Junior since we've already had a rooster that we didn't or want, didn't want, can't have, whatever. So Useless Junior did become useful, a useful dinner for my in-laws. Luckily, my mother-in-law knows how to deal with the birds when it comes time to eat. But you know, Useless Junior had a great life on our little homestead. And um, you know, we'll, definitely will be missed, but Aubrey was able to have all the feathers after, after the fact. So we'll probably make some type of feather wreath using the feathers. But I'm about to go collect some eggs and I wanted to show you guys some of like our teenagers I'm calling them have started laying and I think yesterday was the first day that another bird laid an egg so maybe we'll get another egg from her today. So let's go ahead to the OG little coop over here. It is kind of annoying that I have to step up over the retaining wall but it is what it is. All right so one of these this is a fake egg uh, but we got this one's from Chickadee. These two are from our black hens. And then this one, I think it's from Chocolate. She's having some issues. Her shells are never super pretty, but it's still a good egg. I got this cute little basket from I think the Target dollar spot at some point. And I just thought it would be perfect for holding our eggs and it serves as a cute decoration in our kitchen. But our other two hens that live here, I believe they're molting, which is when they're replacing their feathers. So they don't really lay eggs. So we only get four from these guys on a good day. Thank you, ladies. All right, let's make our way to the new coop. All right, so let's see. This bird right here, I believe she started laying. I'm still waiting for this one. This was the counterpart to our unfortunate rooster. This is Thanksgiving, she's molting. She's getting a lot of new feathers. This white bird, we've gotten, well one, either her or her over there, kind of hard to see. They started laying two. So let's see how many we got so far today. Woohoo! All right, so one of the white birds laid an egg. One of the brown birds laid an egg. These ones are kind of small. They're smaller. They're kind of like the eggs from our black hens. And then since this one's small, I'm gonna guess this one's from a brown bird as well. And then we have our two fake eggs just kind of teaching the chickens where to go. I do have to clean out these little pads, but overall it's not too dirty in here. So this one has a pretty thick bloom on it. It's like that whitish looking stuff. When I put this in water to wash it off, it will look darker like the other egg. This one, the bloom doesn't appear to be as strong. And so the other one will kind of more resemble this egg when I wash it. And then we have our little white egg, <laughs> so cute. And it'll be fun when these eggs have a little blue egg along with it when our other hens start laying. So the only other chicken that I would have expected to lay an egg today is Thanksgiving, but she's beginning to molt and she hasn't been laying as regularly. A lot of birds don't lay at all when they are molting and growing new feathers because it just takes a lot of their energy and so they don't put that towards laying an egg. It's also been very hot around here and so that kind of I think has an impact on their egg laying production. Activity, I guess but you know what's this seven eggs on a day half a dozen more than half a dozen um, not bad <laughs> actually right now I do have oh gosh probably like 
at least three dozen, if not four dozen eggs in the freeze dryer. So I will be powdering that up and storing that away in case of an emergency and eventually also be packaging up some for my family as a Christmas gift because I mean, having eggs on hand in powdered form that can last, you know, a very, very long time, I think would be useful, especially if you run out and you just need one more egg, you can dip into that little stash. But again, let's just admire these beautiful eggs. One thing I really like are the size of like this egg and then this egg. So from Chickadee, which is actually a meat bird, I'm surprised that she has such nice eggs and, you know, she actually lays fairly regularly, not every day, but pretty regularly. And then, you know, these ones, I would have expected them to be a little bit bigger, but they will do, you know, especially if they're providing eggs every day. And since one of our birds, one of our white hens has laid an egg, I'm expecting the other one should start within the next like week or two. And then the other three birds that haven't started laying yet will hopefully start laying in the next couple of weeks. And those should be hopefully bluish eggs. They might end up being a little bit green, you know, I don't know. We'll, we'll find out. This is the first time that we've had Easter eggers and I'm excited to see what color their eggs will be as well as like the size, if they're going to be smaller or on the smaller side, like the white and brown eggs that we got today from the new coop, or if they're going to be larger, like the ones from the OG. But anyways, that is kind of our chicken update and egg update. I was so excited when I walked out there and realized that it wasn't just Thanksgiving, which is the older hen over there, um, that we got like an egg from one of our new hens. I honestly can't even remember now if it was a brown egg or a white egg, but I know that, you know, we had a brown, a new brown and a new white egg from that coop. And then just yesterday, I got a second brown egg. So it's exciting to know, like, I know which birds are laying. Uh, I don't know which white bird, but soon enough, I will know that both of them have started laying. And I guess like one, one last thing I should mention is like having a variety of birds in your flock is helpful if someone is struggling or if like they have really weak shells or things like that, you can kind of narrow down like which birds may have need of you know some more calcium in their diet or more, more protein or you know whatever so it is kind of nice to not have like all of the same kind of bird for that reason because i can tell you know the eggs apart and you know kind of decipher how healthy my birds are based on the eggs that they give me. But anyways, I'd like to thank you guys for watching this little update today. If you guys are new here, I'd love for you to stick around and subscribe. I take care of all things mom on my channel. And like I said, I'm trying to build a homestead kind of from scratch. So I do sourdough right now. I have like minimal fruit uh, in my backyard that I'm trying to grow. I'm just trying to keep my birds and my kids alive mainly. And then once I master that, I can master growing more produce in my backyard. But you know, if that sounds like something that you're interested in, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Sorry, it's loud. And if you guys like this video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button and I will catch you in the next one. to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.